a very long story to tell about Magoa because as you know I probably am one of the very few people who are privileged to work with Magoa very closely for about seven years, six and a half, seven years in government. Uh, Your Excellency, you may recall that sometime in November 2015, and you moved us around, um, I woke up in the Ministry of Education with all its troubles at that time. Um, the whole story will be in my memoirs when they're published, but I remember that phone call at midnight when you asked me, I said, yes, sir. I what I want to do. I was in Mombasa sorting out Waitiki because I was acting Minister for Lands then. Anyway, long story short, I, when I came to Nairobi, you spelled out what you wanted done. Then we started the work of putting together a system that would help remake our education sector. Then in around January, February, you appointed Professor Magua as the chairperson of the Kenya National Examination Council. And I remember that memorable Saturday morning, as though it happened yesterday, when you rounded us up, together with my peers, then Belio Kipsang, Nancy Masharia, uh, Secretary TSC, Professor Magoa, and myself. And you spelled out clearly what you wanted done. You said, we must bring an end to examination cheating in this country. My colleagues know what we, we go through during those uh, situations. Because you said, Mwaje Ujinga wa hapo. And you said, this year, it's not going to happen. Hama mutafute njingine. Uh, then that was the clarion call or order that we needed, which led to the formation of an amazing fraternity in government during some of my happiest days in this life. Uh, we teamed up, as you directed then, with CS Musheru, then CSICT, my brother, the late Joseph Kayseri, the CS for Interior. And you imposed a very punishing schedule on us. I'm now saying that after I've left the government, but you imposed a very punishing schedule on us. Wanting updates on a fortnight basis.